In this tutorial, we'll look at object visibility in 3ds Max. So I'm going to start by just creating some standard primitives here, a few boxes, a few spheres. And let's make a plane. So um, depending on uh, how you like to work, a lot of people use layers to turn on and off objects. You can uh, open up your layer menu over here, select an object and turn it on or off. Uh, but some people like to work on the fly and just use very quick shortcuts like um, hiding and showing objects. So if you want to select an object, you can use your Select Object tool, select an object. If you want to select multiple objects, you can hold down Control. And then if you want to hide just those objects, you can right-click, which brings up your um, pop-up menu here. And then you have the option to hide selection or hide unselection if you want to hide whatever's unselected. In this case, we'll hide selection. And then you can continue to work on the objects that are not hidden. Um, one thing you can do then and when you're done working on that object is right click and unhide all and that'll bring those objects back. Other things you can do, I could select these two objects, right click, hide selection, and then let's say I want to work on this one but keep that selection the same. I can right click on this one and say isolate selection and that will allow me to work on this object a little bit. I could add some modifiers, for example. And then when I'm done, I can right click and say end isolate. It will bring me back to the state where it had those three objects um, unhidden, but the other two objects still hidden. So it's kind of adding layers of visibility into your working mode. So if I right click, I can unhide all again. Um, and that'll bring me back to where I am. When you start doing that, your pivot might get a little off. So if you want to reset that, just select an object, hit Z, and that will zoom and orbit around that selected object. So that tends to happen, especially if you have objects that are really far away, your orbit gets off. So it's a really good habit just to select objects that you're working on, hit Z, and then center that orbit around that selected object. Other things you can do is um, group objects. So I might come over here and group these two objects say OK, and now these exist within a group in your layer menu, so I can select them if I open this up as a group. Um, you can always go group and open, and that will open the group so you can temporarily work on an object. I can right click, hide that for example, select this, um, right click, unhide all. And um, then when you're done, if you don't want to work on just one object within a group and you want to close it, so for example, if you have a door and you have a door handle and hinges all connected in a group, you can work on one thing at a time. And then when you're done, go to group, close, and that'll reconnect that group. If you don't want things to be in a group anymore, you can always group and then ungroup. So those are the basic ways. Uh, just get used to right-clicking, unhide all, hide selection, using control to select multiple objects. If you want to... Um, deselect an object from something you've selected. You can select Alt and that will deselect it. Um, you can also change how you select objects. So if I drag with the marquee, anything that intersects will be selected. If I select um, you know, the round one, it'll be a round marquee. If I select here, uh, right now it's anything that crosses the marquee, but if I want it just to be objects that are in the marquee, um, you can change that there. So I tend to use it uh, rectangular and then crossing, but it's really up to you.